Hey bitches and besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I'm very excited to finally be reacting to Minho's first ever solo album. Um, I wanted to wait until the music video was out, but now the music video is out, the whole album is out. I'm gonna react to all of it, except for Heartbreak, which I've obviously already seen, heard, reacted to. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see what this sounds like. I've been hearing a lot of people saying it's amazing. It's smooth, it's R&B. Um, there's some featured artists on here that I'm excited about. So yeah, I'm excited to check it out. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Check out my shiny playlist for all of my previous shiny reactions and Minho, let's go. All right, this is Minho Chase music video. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Wait, he's he's going through it. That's a that's a that's a breakfast. I'm assuming she died like in the car crash and he was going up to random women in the bar because he his brain was thinking it was her but then they complained and he got beat up and kicked out of the bar. I'm assuming that's what just happened. Oh no. Ooh, his vocals, the harmony. Oh, 
so he shot his reflection. Ugh, that was a lot. That was a lot for this early in the morning. Um, <laughs> Heartbreak was such like a smooth kind of sad, but fun, smooth, like sexy bop. And this was more just sad. Um, I don't know if it's a continuation of Heartbreak or not, because Heartbreak was set in like 25 years in the future or something like that. I think it was like 2050 or 2049, something like that. Um, obviously he lost her in a car accident and he kept trying to run and chase her, but she wasn't there anymore. And he was just really struggling with that loss and dealing with that. Um, I think the video was very powerful, but I was so focused on the video. I wasn't necessarily like processing and listening to the song. So for that reason, I need to go listen to the song again. It was smooth. I liked it. Um, there was a lot of auto-tune, like, in the vocal parts of it, but I think that's also just, like, the style of the song. He's going for this kind of, like, modern R&B pop type thing. Um, I don't know. I think I like it, but I need to listen to it a couple more times. The music video is just a lot. Um and maybe I need context because I feel like he released a couple like trailers to this. And maybe you're supposed to watch those first and then it all just makes more sense. Um, hmm. All right. Let me know what you think of this song. I'm going to listen to the B-sides. I'm very excited about that. We're going to check out all of them um, except for Heartbreak. All right, next up on the album is Runaway, and I think I figured out what it is about Chase. I watched it again. I listened to the song again. I like the song. I think the song is really good. It's his acting. His acting is so good that I was so invested in the music video and the storyline. He pulled me in with his acting that I wasn't really even paying attention that much to like the song and the lyrics and stuff. But like watching it a second time just by myself, I'm like, oh, okay. All right. This is very good. Um, so I apologize. Reaction videos are always just my first impression. I wasn't going to go back and watch it a second time and like have a more exciting or whatever reaction. I just want to always be honest and open with you. So um, next up is Runaway. This is featuring Jim and I. Let's go. I've never heard anything from Jim and I, so that's exciting. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, hold on. This song is a bop. This song is a bop. This is so far the catchiest song on the album. This could have been the title track. I appreciate it not being the title track, though, because keep in mind, this is Minho's first ever solo album. Um, and I think it's very special for him to have released his title track, No Features. It's just him on the title track. So while I think this song is catchier and this song might have been a more popular choice maybe for a title track. Cause I think he's performing this song, um, like on radio or like on the, the promotional like shows or whatever. I also think this song is a lot shorter too. 
um, cause this is a, a lyric video. There's like a minute of stupid stuff at the end of it, but all right. I like his voice. Yes! This is a bop. <sighs> that feature is an interesting choice too because their voices are similar. Uh, Minho and Gemini's voices are similar in terms of like texture which is kind of a hard thing to describe or explain but they both have very like warm voices and kind of like thicker voices uh i mean minho's thick in, in many places uh but his voice is very like smooth and like thick um gemini i don't know anything about but i really liked their voice his voice um i believe he's like a k r and b singer um and I really haven't delved into that world at all. Um, yeah, that song is really good. So far, that's my favorite. But I think I think if you've watched my videos before, you probably knew that I would love this song because it's catchy. It's a bop, sexy, booty shaking, whatever. Um, yeah, it's very good. <laughs> all right, next up on the album is Prove It. Let's go. Oh. I love his low notes. Oh, he's being sweet. Ooh, I like the vibe of this. Oh, 
That song is so interesting. I love everything that was going on with the instrumental, um, especially when like the horns came in and it just kind of got, I don't know, just very vibey and chill and kind of like loungy. Um, the lyrics to this song were very sweet. All right. Next up on the album is Waterfall. Um, I'm so dumb. I saw, I, I thought it featured Lil' Kim the rapper Lil' Kim. <laughs> and I've been talking to people about this album being like, how's the song with Lil' Kim? That's so random. <laughs> and no one has said anything to me. So <laughs> it's uh, featuring Im Kim or Lim Kim. I'm not sure how. <sighs> I need to learn Korean. But anyway, it, it's not Lil' Kim. Let's go. Waterfall. <laughs> Oh, Ugh. See, I was kind of hoping the whole album would be like this. Not gonna lie. I love bops and I love sexy music, but I wanted to hear more of this, like his voice and like the sexy... When people told me it was an R&B album, I was kind of hoping it was like all like this. So I love this. Oh. 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 I like how he's singing. Oh, 
All right, that song was so good and so like sexy, but also like classy and subtle. Um, I kept laughing though because every time they were talking about the waterfall, my brain was just going to Onu in Thailand, like frolicking in the steam bath or whatever under the water with <laughs> the waterfall. Because uh, I'm watching uh, Shiny's. Uh, Surprise Vacation, Wonderful Day, whatever the show is called. It's got like eight different names. Um, I'm watching that right now on Patreon, and I just finished that episode. So I just kept having wholesome thoughts of Onu swimming in the waterfall, and I was not uh, reading into the lyrics because uh, he's grown. He can sing about whatever he wants. Um, and I think that song was very smooth, very sexy, but like in a... I don't know. I just liked the song. It was very pretty. And the duet, like the both of their vocals went very well together. And I can't imagine Lil' Kim on that song. <laughs> so, all right. all right. So last up for this album is Choice. I know that Heartbreak is the last song on the album, but I've already listened to it. So uh, this is Choice. Kinagin my choice. Kuryo at don ku. Haro at nun ape. Ponjo got a pair chin way. Honja at the night in day. Ijamudu diro he. Good on the my choice. Kumko at don go. Muimia son tecto. Narayan gilo move. Vito so ki got a ton. Mudu so is hojung he. Take it slow. Teronun iroke diril dorapa. Amo gir up don do she gura. But eh, china mam in sancho. Boon. Sumar and gid away yon sokin life. As to go by bodum chopa do ba. Mang sorry she gun do bujo canan. Chemonja up jangs go for a drive. Go for a drive. Eh, she to mop she dia. Mom just saw the go hide there. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a pretty, a pretty outro. That was pretty. Um, so that was it. That was his album, the first solo album. I, I like it. I do kind of have mixed feelings about some of it, but I mean, it's his first album. I'm still going to stream it. I'm still going to share it with everyone. Um, I hope that he can get more projects and more albums and stuff in the future because I like his style. I like his music. Um, I, it's complicated. I thought there would be a little bit more rap on it. Um, I like the direction of this album. I kind of like the more like R and B kind of like sexy groovy. It feels more grown, I guess it feels more adult. Um, I really liked Waterfall. I really liked him singing. I wanted to hear more of him like singing. Um, obviously, I know he's singing on every single song, but so my favorites on this album, I think Runaway is probably my favorite just for the obvious reasons. It's a bop. Um, and then probably Heartbreak and then Waterfall and then Chase and then Prove It. And then choice is probably how I would rank them. Um, the album's not bad. I just think on my first listen, on my first listen, I'm going to need to listen to some of these songs a little bit more. Yeah. Runaway is a bop. Heartbreak is a bop. I've been listening to that since it came out. Chase, um, I've listened to it twice now and I do like it. It's just the video kind of threw me off with how, um, cinematic it is it's like an entire experience and i feel like there maybe should have been a trigger warning with how dark the video is um <laughs> watching it at eight o'clock in the morning the themes were a lot heavier than i expected i probably should have watched the teasers and teasers and stuff so i knew what to expect um but yeah the album is very good i'm excited to hear more music from him um, I know that he's been performing some of the songs on music shows, so I might want to check that out. I've seen some of the outfits he's wearing. and um, But yeah, that was my reaction to Minho's first album, Chase. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what your favorite song on the album is. I hope you enjoyed it. And keep streaming the music video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.